Hey friends, Melinda here. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I post weekly workouts so that you can stay strong, fit, and fierce with me each and every week. If you're new here, make sure that you consider subscribing. Today's crop top abs workout comes from our summer sweat series. This 10 minute workout will focus on incinerating belly fat to create a lean tone and tight tummy. I'll be using two pound weights for this workout. You can always amplify to three pounds or five pounds, but I wouldn't go heavier than that. Or you can modify with no weights at all. If you get an amazing core burn with me today, I want you to click that like button below to show me some love. Now let's get ready to whittle our middle. All right, guys, we'll start in a kneeling position. If you don't have carpet, I would highly recommend doubling up a mat so that you have some more support for your knees. Or you could always do this standing if necessary. So we pull down into the thighs and then extend out. Crunch and extend press. So exhale and press, really bending through the hips here and then pulling the navel in tightly as you draw the belly in, press. So you exhale and then reach it out to the side. Exhale, press. Really firing up the core here. Bend and press. Press. Really exhaling so that we draw all of the air out of the diaphragm here. Press, drop the shoulders down as you extend the arms to the side. And press down and press right away we go into some oblique twist twist it so i want a large range of motion here pull the belly in suck navel to spine drop the shoulders down so again we're whittling through the waistline here for those sexy lean crop top abs today pull the belly in make sure that you're not pushing the belly out, but really scooping in and up. Now let's start to punch it across that body. Push it across, press, exhale, really drive it to those corners. Put some force into it. Four, three, two, last one right here. We go into our side kneeling position. So we extend the outside leg, and then from here, we're going to reach up and over. Overhead reach and press. Overhead, exhale, breathe, press. Now you've got to use those obliques to lift you back up into that starting position. Reach and press. And that toe is pointing away from the body here. Press. You'll start to really feel the side body awaken here. Make sure that you're not collapsing within your chest. You're really lifting up and out through your chest here. Press. Moving on from there, we start to reach in towards that leg, press, and then knee crunch. So we've got a combo, reach, exhale, reach into that leg, pull, press, into the leg, pull, press, into it, pull and press up and around, squeeze it in, breathe, big knee crunch, lean into it, press, exhale. We've overhead reach from the opposite side, we take that overhead reach, bring it back to center, overhead, and then press up and out, breathe. Drop the shoulders down and then press. Elongate, press it out. So again, we're lifting, think of lifting up and out of the side body here. Those are challenging. Reach, press it. Up and over. Nice ballet quadra arms here. Reach and up and out. Lengthen and press. 
From here, we go into that next exercise. Pull and press. Reach into the leg, up and over, and then press. So we reach into that leg. Lift. Press. Leg up, crunch it in. And then reach in towards it. Lift that top leg, crunch it in. Find your exhales, find your strong breathing here. Find the fluidity in this movement. And press up. Last one here. Breathe. We've got the weights in the palms, slowly come down into that supine position, scoop the belly and drop the shoulders down, flexing through your heels. We crunch and we cross the body. And then we exhale, cross the body. So there's these very big motions across, hitting your diagonal each time that you elevate up. Exhale, draw the navel in. Drive it across, come back down, exhale, drive. Slowly come down, exhale, breathe. Take it really far across that body, getting that large range of motion, working at that maximal potential and maximal range of motion here. Flexing through the toes, so that we're leaving it, aiding tension out of the hip joint. Slowly come down from here, press the palms down into the earth. We lift up and then kick out. Lift, kick out, lift. Now, if you feel that your back is arching, you go a little bit higher with the legs and don't go as low. Press, lift the tailbone, extend it out to 45. So little tailbone, lift to an extension. Pressing the palms down, press, lift. These are challenging. So again, if you need to modify, you just go higher like this for that modification or you go lower for that challenge. But the small of the back has to reach down into the earth. Now we are combining those motions. One, two, three, four. And then we lift, extend, lift again. Cross, two, three, four, slowly come back. Lift, extend, lift, press. One, two, three, four. Now don't use momentum. Lift, use your core, press. Lift, scoop the belly in. One, two, three, four, slowly come back. Push and press, lift again. One, two, three, four, slowly come back. Again, try not to use momentum for that. Exhale, press. One, two, three, four. Slowly come back. Reach, extend, press. Bring it back up. Exhale, two, three, four. And then we lift and press. One, last one. From here, take one weight in that right palm. We exhale, we crunch and press right through center. Legs are a little bit wider than hip distance. Reaching down and press, exhale. So remember, if you need to go a little bit heavier, I'm using two pound weights. If you need to go heavier, you can to feel a little bit more challenge. From here, we add on, we cross the body, extend, cross, right across to the outside, of the thigh here, push, across, lengthen through, reach it, right across like you're slicing across the body and you're driving the knee in and then extending long out, take it to the opposite side immediately, exhale, and press. Remember, we're driving right down through the center. Exhale, the opposite hand behind the nape of the neck here. Breathe. So you're exhaling 
about the more challenging portion of the exercise. Don't yank on your neck, no yanking on your neck. Pull your chin off of your chest, breathe. Strong core here, breathe. Let's add on right here, come across and extend it. Exhale, press across the outer thigh here, draw the knee in and then pull the leg away with resistance, creating the own body's resistance here. Squeeze, firing up the obliques as we draw across the midline. Breathe, one last one right here. Moving right along, we'll take it into an attitude toss. Now, if this is too much, you can always place the hands behind the nape of the neck and eliminate the weight for a more modified version here. Big attitude sweeps, we're almost done. This is your last exercise. Exhale. Be proud of the work that you're doing today. Be proud of yourself for pushing play. Exhale, getting that strong core, which is absolutely essential for all of the work that we do throughout our daily lives. Exhale, breathe for three, two, last one right here. Pull those knees in, just give yourself a little rock side to side and then take a good morning stretch. Inhale, exhale. Hug it in once more. Excellent work guys, and I will see you on the next workout.